all right guys welcome to our channel code with sunny and today we will be discussing the medium problem solving questions with brain power its index is 2140 and actually this problem has appeared in weekly contest 276 okay uh, yeah so before beginning we can have a like a discuss about the prerequisites required to solve this problem is actually the simple way like uh, if you have been familiar with uh, standard problems of dynamic programming then you can feel that uh, this problem is required such approach right so actually this is very much easy you can see in a dp like in general problem of a dp uh, you will find that uh, either you have to go with the current problem current solution or just skip it and use the previous solution right so this problem requires the same concept so let's begin if you haven't understood the problem or the solution no need to worry about we will discuss everything in this video so we have been given a zero index 2d array array of questions and where the questions of i will denote points of i and brain power of i right the, the array describes the questions of an exam where you have to choose the process the questions in order starting from question zero and make a decision whether to solve or skip each question as i have said uh, for every question you are going to either solve this question or skip uh, skip this question right so if you are going to solve this current question you will earn points of i and uh, if you will earn points of i then then you will not be able to solve each of the next brain power questions of i okay that is if you skip question i also if you skip question i you get to make the decision on the next question okay so for example this okay so let's understand this problem with the help of examples right so let me pick up this one example so it is 3 2 so this is the very first pro uh, question then the next question is 4 3 and the next question is 4 4 and the next question is uh, 2 5 okay so uh, yeah this is the area of questions and the very first element of this uh, you can see 2d vector is actually the points if you solve this question and uh, if you uh, solve this question then this will be the brain power of this particular question so if you are going to solve this question so for the next two questions that uh, uh, being denoted by here brain power of i or oh, that is brain power yeah yeah this is the actual the brain power the second element so if you solve this question let's say solved then your answer like the points earned by it will be incremented by plus equal to 3 you can see but you are not able to solve next two questions that is this question you are not going to solve this question you are not going to solve so the next question that you are going to go for it will be this question okay so if you let's say you have solved this problem so you the points on would be like plus equal to 3 and you are not going to solve this one you are not going to solve this one so you are going to check it out that uh, you are going to solve for this problem so you can see yes you have solved this problem so plus equal to 2 and next five problems should not be solved okay so there are no uh, other problems over here so your iteration stops so the answer would be plus 3 and plus 2 so which is actually 5 so you can see there are you can earn 5 points and uh, this is actually the answer but this is not the optimal answer why this is not the optimal answer because you have fixed that yes you are going to solve this problem but what about if you didn't solve this problem and you start solving from this one or maybe some other problem like start solving from this one okay so in that case your answer can come like you can get much more points by solving or skipping some problems that we don't know okay and finally we need to return the maximum points you can earn for the exam so uh, you can see that for every question that is for every question there are two states and this state actually defined the dynamic programming type of thing like if uh, dp of i will store maximum points you can get you can get and you can see that for, for solving this dp of i uh, the only thing that matters is either choose this problem 
choose uh, not calling it as choose solve this question so if you are going to solve this question you will earn the points uh, present over this uh, ith index that is questions of i of 0 and if you are going to solve this question you need to skip the next questions like next brain power times of questions which is actually you can see questions of i of 1 so if you solve the ith uh, problem ith question then your points will be incremented by this amount and you are going to solve for the next question will be i plus questions of i of 1 plus 1 so here you can see if you solve this problem which is at index of 0 so the next problem that will be solved will be 0 plus 2 plus 1 so which is actually the third problem uh, if you use a zero based indexing you can see you will directly jump to this problem right so for a particular state of dp there exist two things solve this question earn some points and go back jump to the next uh, questions that is being denoted by this brain power amount otherwise if you don't solve this question so what will happen your answer comes from uh, like you need to maximize the answer so your answer can be max of dp of i equal to dp of i minus 1 that is maximum points you can get uh, by not solving this question so it will come from the previous states of dp so actually we are not going to use uh, dp of i minus 1 like i am i need to work from the backwards of this array not from the forward i will explain it out why i don't work in the forward direction because so uh, i need to jump to the like larger states uh, not calling it as larger i need to jump from i to some x plus 1 so which is still unknown so i am not using a top down dp i will use a bottom up dp so i will work from the backwards okay so how will i will start is like let's begin okay so i will take some more examples like uh, to explain this problem like this one 1 1 2 2 3 3 4 4 5 5 right so 1 1 2 2 3 3 4 4 5 5 so i will work from the back side because working from the back side is quite easy if uh, because i am using a bottom up dp okay so just tell me one thing that if you are at this state uh, also i need to first define what is this dp of i so dp of i is the maximum points you can get if you solve all the like if you solve problems starting from i to n minus 1 okay i am working from the back side okay if you if you consider all the problems from i to n minus 1 not solve all the problems because solving means you are getting the points and skipping some of the problems if you consider problems from i to n minus 1 okay now suppose that you are at this last problem so you can see that uh, for the current problem you can see dp of n minus 1 so what is the maximum uh, points you can get if you consider only this problem which is actually uh, exactly equal to 5 that is solve this problem right now there is no more cases solve this problem if you don't solve this problem you can see your answer will be 0 right so maximum points will be 5 so it means that you are going to solve this problem okay now let us solve for this dp of n minus 2 so dp of n minus 2 will state that maximum points you can get if you consider the all the questions in this range okay so as i've already said there exist two states so dp of n minus 2 will be solve n minus 2 problem n minus 2 problem now or don't solve this problem don't solve this problem okay so what about if you don't solve this problem so your answer will come from the like maximum points you can get to reach to this state will be dp of n minus 2 exactly equal to dp of n minus 1 right if you don't solve this problem what about if you try to solve this problem right now okay so if you try to solve this problem right now so your answer will be incremented by if you solve this problem so you will get four points you can see because of this 
and you are going to skip all those next four problems so this problem will be skipped and all those pro uh, four problems will be skipped to the right of it if it exists so you can see there are no more problems so 4 plus 0 okay so your answer will be dp of n minus 2 will be max of so you need to get the maximum points right dp of n minus 1 and 4 plus 0 I need to check out for the both the cases you can see 5 and 4 max of this is actually 5 so what is the maximum points you can get if you consider all the problems in the range i to n minus 1 that is n minus 2 and n minus 1 so you can say you are going to get 5 so let me just erase all those and write down 5 instead of that okay so you can see you are going to get 5 okay now let's work for this case so let's work for dp of n minus 3 so what is the maximum number of points you can get if you consider all the problems in the range n minus 3 to n minus 1 okay so there are two possible cases uh, either we are going to solve this problem right now so if you solve this problem right now so 3 plus skip all the next three problems so this problem is skipped this problem is skipped now you can see there are no more problems so you can see 3 plus 0 will be the point that you will get if you solve this problem okay so this uh, is for the solving part solving and what about if you don't solve this problem will be the dp of n minus 2 maximum number of points you can get if you don't solve this problem will be the coming from the previous state of dp which is dp of n minus 2 dp of n minus 2 so will be 3 and 5 max of 3 and 5 which is actually 5 so let me just fill up the value over here uh, dp of n minus 3 will also come out to be 5 okay now let's work for this case so dp of n minus 4 okay yeah so dp of n minus 4 uh, so let's con consider for solve this problem and don't solve so there are two possible cases as i've already said don't solve so if you solve this problem right now you can see you are going to get two points okay two plus and you are going to skip next two problems so this problem will be skipped and this problem will be skipped but you can still uh, solve up to this problem like you still you can solve this problem right so in that case whenever uh, you can see you will jump from the current index i plus brain power of this value which is 2 plus 1 you can see if you consider 0 based indexing 0 1 2 3 4 you can see you will jump from uh, i which is 0 plus 2 plus 1 so you can see it will come out to be 3 so you will jump uh, yeah it is coming out to be 3 right sorry i need to take i as 1 because i am at here 1 plus 2 plus 1 so it will come out to be 4 so you will jump to directly to this point so you will just uh, uh, like when you solve this problem that is the very first problem if you consider zero based indexing then you will consider the next problem that should be solved that will be uh, actually a suffix of this array starting at this position which is actually i plus brain power of i plus one okay so you will write down dp of maximum number of uh, uh, points you can get if you solve this problem will be the current point plus dp of i plus current brain power plus one also this must exist uh, within the bounds of this array i plus b plus one okay and if you don't solve then it will like dp of n minus three okay so if you solve this problem these two problems will be skipped but still you can solve start solving from the rest of the uh, problems right so that's why i have taken this dp of i plus b plus one which is the maximum points you can get up to this position so what is the value you can see 2 plus 5 comma 5 so it will come out to be 7 okay and uh, yeah so for this state you are going to get the 7 as your value okay so let's fill up this value and erase all those uh yeah still done so dp of n minus 4 will be 7 uh, let's talk about this value right so you can see i can have dp of 0 which is actually a 0th position so if you solve this problem you will get the value as 1 
and it means that you are going to skip the next one problem so this problem will be skipped so i will check it out what is the maximum number of points i can get up to the uh, till this position you can see it is 5 so 1 plus 5 and what is the maximum value that is coming to the previous state from the previous state which is 7 so you can see max of 6 and 7 which is actually 7 so here it comes 7 so finally you need to return dp of 0 because my states of dp are dp of i which is the maximum number of points you can get if you consider the questions in the range i to n minus 1 and you can see if i will fill i as 0 0 to n minus 1 will be our answer okay so here it all so we need to just write down a simple code so let's look out how this can be efficiently done yeah so times complexity will be o of n and space complexity is also be a o of n so yeah so i have taken the maximum value as 1 e power 12 and let's fill out all those uh, states with maximum value so my last value would be like questions dot back dot zero which is the points as i've already explained so every state of dp has two possible cases don't pick this question and pick this question so if you don't pick this question answer will come from the previous states of dp okay otherwise if you pick this question so current answer will be this points that i will get and the forward index would be like you can see i plus brain power of this current question plus one as i've already said and if that exists within the bounds of this array i will increment my current answer and i will take the maximum simple and finally return this tp of zero okay so if you guys have any doubts do let me know in the comment section of the video and thank you for watching this video